This is no longer in the perma ban list because she got the nerf hammer in one of the recent updates. But even after the nerf, she is still incredibly strong, just not as broken as before. But before we continue, a quick shout out to the amazing sponsor of this video, Epic Champions, thrilling PvE and PvP maps, exciting strategy RPG. Let me tell you about this game which has all the things I just mentioned. There has never been a better time to start playing Raid, because right now Raid is celebrating its 5th anniversary and in the past 5 years there have been a lot of major updates and the last 12 months they released this exciting content, such as Life Arena, where you can battle in real time with other players, Mythical Champions, in which you can now transform between two forms, bring more versatility and utility, Curse City, where you can gain insane rewards by clearing the stages of this campaign. I like how the game keeps adding new stuff quite often and consistently. By the way, because of this 5th anniversary, the studio decided to go all out and are giving tons of giveaways for new players. You get 2 epic heroes right off the bat just by using my link and the promo code FESTIVAL5. Plus, many other incredible rewards such as free energy, XP boosters and many more. By the way, I created a clan, so feel free to add me and join my clan. Download the game now using my link in the description or scan the QR code. New players receive the epic boss killer Lady Atessa and exclusive 5th anniversary awards after reaching level 25. Whenever I play the EXP lane, if I had the matchup advantage, I used to like to freeze the lane and then zone out my counterpart. But I realized that in solo queue, that's not as effective, because what you really want is to get as fed as possible so you can do the carrying in case you have some inexperienced teammates, which happens very often in solo queue. So instead, I will just clear the wave as quickly as possible and then try to steal the opponent's jungle creeps as well. That could really delay the opponent's jungler and at the same time, I will gain extra gold and experience. I saw my allies coming top, so I just decided to be patient about this. Our Bellary wants to gank him, but it won't be that easy to get Kaja because he can easily dash away. I will try to make him waste his dash so Bellary can catch him easily. Remember that CC's first skill affects building. I was wondering why he was complaining so much about Nana. At first, I thought she was AFK or trolling, so I decided to rewind and check what happened. Here, Amon was trying to steal our younger small camp, but got caught instead. 
that forced their tank to sacrifice her life in order to bail him out. Now he tried to steal Yolito and got caught again. Not sure how was that Nana's fault at all. But I understand though, it's just a lot easier to blame somebody else when things aren't going that well. Even our tank was confused about what she did wrong. This was unexpected. But I definitely overstay my welcome, especially seeing how all my allies are on the opposite side of the map. Look at that, Nana was the one who made that play. The irony. Not gonna lie. I was contemplating if I should do this again. I was getting deja vu. But this time was different. My teammates were actually close by. Although we were doing extremely well, there was one problem. We were kinda allowing their marksmen to form. Once again, we were doing amazing here, but notice that our marksman was getting absolutely destroyed by the opponent's marksman. They're starting to turn the tide. Now we are kind of playing out of control. This not looking too hot. We got a bit carried away because we're dominating them for the most part of the game. Mm -hmm. 
Nana is pretty annoying to CC because her second skill completely stops CC first skill. I noticed that this Kaja kept saving his ult just for my nod. I guess this is what happened when you get the Maniac. This looking dicey now. This Kaja just love my nuts. Alright, at least I made them waste all their skills on me. Good bait. I saw their aim on heading bot, which means most likely he was gonna go for a red buff. With the kind of start we had, I was surprised this game was a lot more intense than I would have expected. Finally, he's ulting somebody else. I'm just gonna focus on the base, I ignore everything else. If I didn't keep attacking the base and we didn't win here, we probably would have lost. Because look at the map and see the rest of my team. We are gonna get wiped out if we have failed here. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. See ya.